2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited 4x4 Test, Improving an Old Faithful. The fifth-generation 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee takes an already strong and storied nameplate and UPS the ante yet again for competitors in the midsize SUV segment. We first set eyes on the latest generation Grand Cherokee last year when the family expanded to a new three-row version Jeep called the Grand Cherokee L, which allowed it to compete in the heart of the family hauler market. We were impressed with the interior's high-end materials and thoughtful touches as we waited for the traditional two-row Grand Cherokee to break cover. Now that it has, we've gotten our hands on one for a proper test. WLY nice to meet you, two-row Grand Cherokee. The newest WL generation model is still instantly recognizable as a Grand Cherokee, but it has a wider track, longer hood, lower center of gravity, and is more aerodynamic. Not surprisingly, it also gets a sumptuously appointed interior tailored for a vehicle that is equally at home in the suburbs or the middle of nowhere after a day on the trails. Jeep offers the 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee across a wide spectrum, offering some of the best on- and off-road driving in the mid-size SUV segment, in essence, there is a version for every buyer. The family is anchored by the entry-level Laredo, followed by the nicer Limited, then the richer Overland, off-road-focused Trailhawk, more luxurious Summit, and range-topping Summit Reserve with a V8. There is also the new plug-in hybrid Grand Cherokee 4XE which is available as a powertrain upgrade on Limited, Overland, and Summit trims. For 2023, the Trailhawk model is only available with the 4XE gas-electric powertrain. Each step-up offers more features, both standard and optional. 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee still masters off-road. For this latest generation, the expected off-road chops are only amplified. The 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee still offers three Ford WD systems. Designers were careful to retain approach and departure angles with higher clearance bodywork than is typical while giving the SUV up to 11.3 inches of ground clearance and 24 inches of water fording ability. The 2022 model also adds a new front axle disconnect feature that will automatically revert to rear-wheel drive if the vehicle senses road conditions that don't require all-wheel drive. The Limited tested here has the single speed, i.e., no low range gearing, quadratrack eye system and active transfer case to send torque to the wheel with the most grip. Although it is the starter kit of the three available 4WD systems, it tackled an off-road course with ease. Engine choices are less new. The V6 and V8 engines are carryovers from the previous Grand Cherokee, though their days are likely numbered given the introduction of the new Hurricane i6 engine family that provides more power and efficiency and is, well, new. The Hurricane debuts in the full-size, long-wheelbase 2022 Jeep Wagoneer L and Jeep Grand Wagoneer L but will work its way into future vehicles in the lineup, including the stubbier non-L Wagoneers, soon. Popular choice, Jeep Grand Cherokee with V6. We tested a 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited 4x4 with the hard-working 3.6-liter Pentastar engine, a naturally aspirated powertrain that puts out 293 horsepower and 260 lbft of torque. This trim and engine are the sweet spot for many Grand Cherokee buyers. And that is saying something given the many choices. The trusty Pentastar V6, now a decade old, supplies plenty of grunt and still sounds sonorous as it revs up and distributes power via the 8-speed automatic transmission. In fact, it overperforms for a carryover mill. I don't remember this engine being this peppy, said road test editor Chris Walton. Well, the V6 has helped, the 2022 Grand Cherokee drops about 250 pounds. We saw 60 miles per hour arrive in 7.3 seconds and the quarter mile passed by in 15.5 seconds at 89.8 miles per hour. A 2014 Grand Cherokee Limited with the same V6 that we tested needed 7.7 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour and was 0.3 seconds slower through the quarter mile. But acceleration can be jerky at times and efficiency lags the competition at 19 miles per gallon city, 26 mpg highway, and 22 miles per gallon combined. That leaves a lot of room for improvement if Jeep substitutes the mild hybrid hurricane engine. If anything, the Grand Cherokee 4 XE plug-in hybrid available now is a more accurate representation of where the nameplate is going. 
improving Grand Cherokee on-road prowess. This is also the best riding and best handling Grand Cherokee ever. We were initially excited at the prospect of the fifth generation using the Giorgio platform that underpins the delightful to drive Alfa Romeo Stelvio and now the Maserati Grey Kale crossovers. But Jeep engineers reckoned that although Giorgio had a lot to offer on paved roads, it would compromise the off-road ability a Jeep demanded. In the end, the WL ended up on a new platform designed to accommodate internal combustion engines, plug-in hybrids, and pure EVs in the future. The new platform retains Jeep off-road capability, but Alpha engineers helped tune the SUV for a livelier on-road experience. We found that the SUV's suspension absorbs uneven surface as well, especially impressive given that the Limited has steel springs while higher trims have air suspension with no more than the expected amount of head toss and body roll for a large SUV. The previous generation, non-air suspended Grand Cherokees could be kind of a mess over undulating road surfaces, so it's great to see such improvement in the standard setup. Steering is nicely weighted, although it can feel like a lot of work on a winding road. There is a nice array of drive modes, auto, sport, snow, and sand slash mud. The Grand Cherokee behaved predictably for a big SUV, with noticeable brake dive during hard stops, plenty of body roll, and understeer at the handling limit, said Tester Walton, who also noted that convincing the transmission to lend you a downshift requires stomping hard on the gas. Halting the Jeep from 60 miles per hour required 142 feet, the second worst stopping distance in a large field of SUVs tested. The substantially heavier, all-electric Cadillac Lyric electric SUV was the only vehicle with a longer stopping distance. Even the huge full-size Jeep Wagoneer L and Jeep Grand Wagoneer L performed better than the smaller and lighter Grand Cherokee. For those keen on using active safety tech to lighten their mental load on a road trip, the active lane management system offers three degrees of steering assist, but this is an aid, not a fully corrective lane centering system. Conversely, adaptive cruise control works well and holds the set speed precisely down a long and steep hill. Jeep also offers conventional cruise control. Step inside the 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Despite its ground clearance, the Grand Cherokee is not hard to get in and out of and there are height-adjustable seatbelts, which many pricier vehicles lack, and which are a critical feature for the short statured. Our 5-passenger Limited came with a black and tan interior with lovely dark wood trim underlined with chrome accents. It is filled with a wide array of safety and comfort features, including heating for the steering wheel as well as the front and rear seats. The cabin is comfortable and quiet, even at high speeds. We like how the infotainment touchscreen cascades down nicely from the top of the dash, and Uconnect 5 is a great system. It's easy to use with dedicated hard buttons, it connects easily with devices, the graphics are crisp, and it is feature-rich and customizable in a way that is well-organized and intuitive. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.